Welcome to the NGINX official tutorial series. In this video, we'll show you how to set up SSL with NGINX. We will be utilizing the configuration created in the How to Serve Static Content video to begin. Let's start by opening up your folder that holds your configuration, and you'll see the previous configuration from that video. We'll go ahead and start by backing that up. It's always a good idea to back up your configurations when you're making big changes. That way you can revert back to them later. Now you'll see both there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and make a new directory that's gonna hold your Nginx SSL certain key. And we're gonna go ahead now and give it the necessary permissions for read and write. Next, we're gonna make for this video specifically a um, cert and key that's self-signed. We don't recommend this in production, of course. It's always recommended to go through a certificate authority such as Less Encrypt. But for today's example, we'll just go ahead and make one. Next, we're gonna go ahead and modify our configuration folder. We're gonna start by putting a return 301, which is a move permanently, and making sure that all requests coming to our site are gonna be moved to 443 from 80. So we'll start by putting the server name in there. That's of course our website, our domain name. And then we're gonna have any re subsequent requests. They're gonna go also to 443. We're next gonna put in a new server for accepting 443 traffic. We're gonna be listening 443. And of course that's for SSL. And don't forget to put SSL in here. Next, we're gonna put that server name back in. And following this, we're gonna go ahead and add in the folders where our SSL cert and our SSL key are held. And that's again the Etsy Nginx SSL that we've created before. All right, now once everything looks good, we're gonna go ahead and save this. And then we're gonna go and check that our configuration looks good by typing nginx dash lowercase t. It was successful, so now we're gonna go ahead and reload nginx with the signal nginx dash s reload. And now we'll go to a web browser and we'll check our configuration and make sure that it's directing us from port 80 to 443. And it looks like it works. Now, of course, it looks a little bit different here because we're using the self-signed certificate, but nonetheless, it is redirecting to HTTPS. And that concludes our video. Thank you for watching.